this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back to another Minecraft pre-release. This is the 1.5 full build. Now, 1.5 comes out on Wednesday, the 13th, but before that I thought I would highlight another redstone contraption that could be very useful to you guys. But first off, check this out. Now this is a very nice seed, uh, not too long to type in either, only a handful of numbers. It starts you on a island here, a rather large island, lots of room to build. You've got wood, you've got a village here with your carrots and potatoes, no blacksmith though. Just a nice little, you know, assortment of a forest and kind of a few little areas around here. If you want a survival island, but you don't want it to be quite as challenging as having like no materials, this is a, quite a nice seed. And there's a ravine over here, plenty of room to build, like I said. So that is a nice little seed for you guys if you're starting a new 1.5 world. Now over here, uh, the hopper is one of the newest innovations in 1.5. And obviously people are going to want to use it to sort items. So I have looked at a lot of different item sorters. Uh, the two that I kind of focused on uh, on Reddit, Atosama built something similar to this, but then another user, EJ Doomsday, kind of perfected it and made the design that I ultimately chose to build here to show you guys. Now it's a little resource intensive, because as you know, probably uh, hoppers are made with five iron and a chest. So if you've been playing the game for a while, you probably have a lot of iron, so it's not a big deal. But this is uh, more of a kind of, you know, opulent way of sorting stuff but it's very useful and very quick so I think if even if you can only do it for a few materials with a handful of hoppers it's worth doing so basically you're gonna put items in this first chest here and anything that uh, isn't sorted here it will go in this last chest and I can throw in like my sword or something and show you that so I'm just gonna throw in all the stuff here that I've got and it will begin to sort and then I'll throw my sword in there and we'll get that back at the end so the way this works you can see through the side. Uh, I covered the back here. If you look on these other ones, you can kind of see through. So I covered the back of part of it to make it look a little better, but this is not necessary here. Mainly, you're going to need this little uh, five block design here and the stack of three hoppers. It's pretty simple, and I'll show you how to use it. And as you can see, while I was talking, my diamonds, emeralds, gold, all this stuff has been sorted. There was no iron because we built a ton of. Uh, hoppers <laughs> and then we've got all this stuff in there there's an egg in there from when I was testing stuff and then we've got our spruce and then our sword is at the end here I believe the the uh, whatchamacallit the rose might have gotten caught up somewhere it could probably still be in this chest actually because sometimes one item well it's somewhere in here uh, <laughs> not foolproof I guess but it is a very useful design as you can see almost all of it went to where it needed to go I don't know where the rose went maybe it transformed into an egg We'll find out. But yeah, if you want to set this up, I can show you. It requires a few of the item you're going to use, but I've got a little build over here, but I can show you guys very easily. These are the materials you're going to need. And uh, here we go. Uh, one thing in 1.5, they changed it to where, you know, you used to shift click and it would go to the end of your inventory. Now it goes to the first spot in your inventory. So you got to get used to that. Now, this is kind of the base design here. If you want to build this, uh, you can start with a row of however many you need. We're going to have probably a few chests here, so you're, and you're going to need to put repeaters facing this row. So however many you're going to need. You don't need them to be on every slot, just the ones that you're going to have a chest, basically. So you can save repeaters by not, you know, going crazy with them. Now you're going to need to build your wool or whatever material you use up one a little bit. You'll need to dig into the ground if you want this at ground level, like I kind of did over there a little bit. Um, so create this little uh, design here. Sorry, I'm building it a little oddly. And then on the top, so it looks basically just like the one that you saw right over there. It's, oops, didn't mean to do that. It is uh, five blocks kind of in this pattern with an extra one, you know, the one in the corner is extra. So you'll need to put redstone and a comparator facing this way on every spot that you're gonna have your uh, chest, basically, your your little uh, hoppers there. So let's do that with a few, I'll just do three, just to kind of speed the process up a little bit. And then now you're going to need your hoppers. So you're gonna need redstone at the bottom part here, uh, redstone torch, sorry, under each hopper. Now, the way the hopper is facing is a little tricky. So for this bottom one and the one above it, you're going to need to have them with their little tube facing outwards. So the easiest way to do that is to basically just have a block here already 
to build it on. Uh, it's a little easier without, you know, the chest. You can put the chest there, but you're gonna have to shift click to do it. So face whatever block and you see the tube will connect to however you place it. So there we go, we got our setup with the three there, and this is where we're gonna put our chest. Now if you alternate between normal chests and uh, trapped chests, then you can have them side by side to save a bit of room, which is very nice, uh, thanks to the trapped chests that we have now. So you need to do the same thing with the, the hoppers on top here. So put some blocks there and then click the hoppers on those blocks. So now we have those. This is where you can put your item frames if you wanna label what is in each of these chests. And again, you have to shift click to put these because uh, the, if you click it normally, you'll just go into the hopper interface. So we've got that. We're gonna use, uh, instead of the the normal uh, stuff that we had over there, the rare stuff, I'm gonna use some more common materials. So this one will maybe have plant, uh, saplings, we got wood, and then I'll do like coal in this one. Since these are very common materials you'll need. Okay, and then the last set of hoppers, you're gonna need them to be facing whichever way your chest that is gonna uh, filter out the stuff will be. So the easiest way I think is just to build a series over here towards wherever your chest is gonna be. And then one by one, you can break it and place the hoppers that you're gonna need, bam. And then they'll each be linked facing this way. So there we go. And we got all our hoppers set up there. So the last part, we got all this redstone connected. Now to do this, you're going to need to have some snowballs or any item that stacks into a stack of 16. And you go to the dispenser. This is make sure you don't click the wrong one. You gotta click the one with the sign and then put in two of whatever item you're gonna filter and then two snowballs and then just one for the rest. So you need five snowballs and two of whatever item in that pattern. And I'll just repeat this real quick for the rest of these, bam, bam, bam. There we go, one last one for the coal. And then we are all set and we can place a chest above this first dispenser here, bam. And you're gonna be able to throw in whatever materials. It's gonna sort a lot of coal. Let me cut this in half here so it's a little faster. And then I'll put in like a redstone torch. I'll put the rest of this crap in here so you can see it get filtered out in the end really quick. So there we go, that is, it's already going through before I can even get done with it. And it is in this last chest and these chests are filling up with whatever materials and they're already done, aren't they? Oh, the, the leaves are going last. As you can see, they're being filtered in. So yeah, you basically just need these hoppers to kind of filter what goes through. The snowballs take up spots so other stuff doesn't fill it up. And that is a very simple method for sorting your stuff. I know it's, it, like I said, it's fairly resource intensive but iron is very abundant, so it shouldn't be too hard to set this up, and you can at least use it for a few things that maybe you have a lot of, like your you know, woods and coal and all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna have one of those full you know, rundowns of everything new in 1.5 coming uh, soon. If you are interested in other features from 1.5, go back and take a look at my snapshots, if you don't mind. I've covered everything that's been released so far, and uh, I will see you guys Wednesday for the full update. Getting excited. See you guys then. Goodbye.